This is a drip torch. And we are gonna cover the proper assembly, disassembly, and storage techniques of it. Uh, unscrew the brass cap and lay it down, preferably where it's not in the mud. And you'll pull the wick assembly out of the drip torch container. And on the back side, there's a thumb screw with a small chain on it. You unscrew that out of the tube that feeds the wick. And then there's a threaded part right next to it that you screw it into to keep it out of the way and keep it from rattling around. The handle is facing towards me here. You set the wick assembly on top of the drip torch with this pigtail facing opposite of the handle. Put the brass lid back on top and thread it down so it's snug. It doesn't have to be just real tight, just snug. And the small brass fitting here on the end is an air vent. And in order to allow the drip torch fuel to run out of the igniter here onto the wick, you unscrew it about a turn. And that allows air to go in and, and fuel to run out. You pick it up by the handle and as you tip the wick down, you allow some fuel to run out of the, the tube assembly onto the wick so it's well saturated. And you have the proper mix. You can run some fuel out on the ground and then light it. And you have the, your drip torch ignited and ready to begin ignition. To extinguish the drip torch, the proper way there are several ways to do it. You can oftentimes just blow on it or just grab it like that with your gloved hand and snuff it out. Uh, when completed with your burn line, turn the air set screw down, shuts it off. When your end is cooled and for proper storage, Take the brass ring off the top. Pull the ring off and you invert the wick assembly back into the torch for storage. And then at the same time, you take this thumb screw out of the holder mechanism and you put it back into the threaded assembly so your fuel doesn't leak out when you're transporting it to the next job. And then screw down the brass ring, like I say, snug. It's got an O-ring in there. You don't have to really bear down on it. And now you're ready for transport to the next job. <laughs>